What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react. Sorry. Chewing on a wheat thin. Hmm. I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so I'm hungry. Anyway. Um Wake up and react to another episode of My Hero Academia, season five, episode eighteen. Yeah, okay. Um last time. happened fuck fuck me mm -mm. what how did it end hmm mm. it was a recap pretty much dog hair are you serious It's not. It's a buggy for my shirt. Anyway, blanket, whatever. It's my blanket. It's my duvet. So, last time, it was a recap of Todoroki's story. And their dad kind of trying to figure out the best way to, I guess, like, handle this situation from now, here on out. And just their family dynamic, who's forgiving, who's not able to. A little bit about Toya. We finally saw a picture of him. He has white hair, blue eyes, but I don't know why in the flashback in season one he has red hair, so I don't know if that's an inconsistency or what the fuck's going on. Um. Anyway, so the mom, their mom, I think her name's Ray. She is, um, maybe, maybe gonna be released soon. So, she's excited to come back and, like, live as a family, but, I, I mean, I said, um, that's gonna be a little hard. It's gonna be harder than you think it is to adjust. Especially going back into an environment that kind of made you have a, a mental break. I mean, it's a little different now, but still. It's going to be hard being in the same environment, same place. Like, maybe if they lived in a different house. I mean, there, I just feel like there might be even just visual triggers. I don't know. Anyway. We'll see how it goes, though. I wish her the best. Fingers crossed for you, girl. But, um, what's it called? What was I going to say? Oh, so Todoroki, we find out because of Midoriya's fucking... I don't know. This kid just understands people on a level that I just... Uh, I applaud him for. I. He should be revered as not the number one hero, but the number one fucking therapist. Anyway. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? So, yeah. Come to find out, Todoroki is actually for, on the path, or is, has already forgiven his father, but he just couldn't come to terms with it. Because maybe he feels like somehow that's betraying his mother. Um, to forgive the abuser. I mean, that's hard. And then, like, you kind of hate yourself or at least kind of beat yourself up about even being able to forgive them or move past it. I don't know. I mean, I know I do. So, um, what do you call, um, ah, uh, fuck, sorry, that just made me lose my train of thought. Fuck. Um, oh, I'm getting in my head about that. Mm. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, anyway, okay, so, um, and Natsu, like, lashing out, yeah, blah, 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 all that happened. I mean, I get why you're upset, I know we had this debate, you guys don't agree with me about, like, eh, airing dirty laundry, eh, I guess I can see your point, you don't want to make people uncomfortable. Thank God they already knew, so it's kind of like, mm. but I can't really blame him. It probably just makes him sick seeing his dad want to play pretend. I don't know if I'd be able to control my outburst either. Not after what he put him through. I, no matter who's around, I, I mean, I get it. I don't blame him. I, I, if I, Even if it did make me uncomfortable, it wouldn't make me that uncomfortable because I've been through it. And it's like... It's like, I understand, dude. You're not making me uncomfortable. I get it. You want to motherfuck them all fucking up and day, all day long. You just want to just... 
you don't want to see them happy or trying to be something that they're not. It's just like a spit in the face. Especially seeing them trying to be a good dad to your younger siblings when they were such trash to, to I, I don't know, anyway, whatever, fuck it. Uh, moving on, it's not to the <clears throat> point. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's jump into the reaction, guys. Run to his house. It's so creepy. No. No. Quirk and answer. And what? Oh shit! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Give me the goddamn backstory now. ASAP. Bakugo. Good. Mm, I wanted to say good boy. <laughs> he's being really, uh, he's being a good listener. Pause. In his mind, dad killed Toya. How, though? He's gonna freak out. Aw, he didn't. He kept your cool. Good job, baby. Aw, he's over here so shy. Like, <sighs> Damn, this guy is definitely coming for him. He's followed him home for sure. Oh, like he was the thing on the road? Or the, like his raps were the, the... Oh, fuck. You know what I mean. <laughs> I think we'll find out. Maybe I'll explain it. Oh shit! Dude, you threw him right in front of the fucking car. Wow. So you want him to know you took his kid. Yep. Damn it. Do you remember him, Endeavor? So, does he have like some sort of like telekinesis? He can control those raps with his mind. Is it because of the enhancer he took? How does Natsu feel? How is he gonna feel if his dad saves him? Mm. Damn, was that Todoroki who did that shit? I didn't even put that together. That totally was him. He's working on what his dad told him with that fire. Damn, we got three other heroes in the goddamn car. Let's go! Do my lip? I feel like I have a cut right here, and every time I smile, I'm like ripping it open. It hurts. <laughs> Let's go, my fucking baby! Let's fucking do it! Ain't nothing to it, but to do it! Hero it up. Hero it up, babies! Let's go! That's what we need to do. I love the advice he gave them, they're putting it into practice. Let's go. <laughs> Didn't predict that, did ya? He has a quirk enhancer drug though, dude, so I don't know. He doesn't know that he took one either. Damn! He can't, dude, because he used him as a shield. He's not going to hurt his son. Okay, the boys are going in. Oh, shit! Todoroki. Oh, no. He's gonna involve all these other civilians. Oh! Damn! Oh my god, Bakugo! Yeah! Yes! Let's go! 
Oh, dude. Okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Let's go. Oh, you did it! You did it, Midoriya! Oh my god, I'm so proud of him. Holy shit! You did that, Endeavor. You have to give yourself credit. Your advice got them there, but they did the work to get there. Let's go. I'm so proud. This is what I fucking needed, dude. Dude, the fucking progress. Oh my god, Midoriya! You just used that shit like a pro, dude. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, he just hugged. Oh. The hug. He's so I can't. He was just so relieved. See, he loves you, Natsu. <laughs> Shut up, Bakugo. He's glad you're all safe. Good job, baby! Oh, yay! <laughs> I guess they were. <laughs> but he did stop, Bakugo. You didn't expect that, did you? Yeah, you know. You know what- Oh, I'm so proud of you, Bakugo. <laughs> He's so cute. Hey! What? It's too hot? Or it's really uncomfortable? For another reason. I knew it was gonna be kinda, kinda weird for him to be saved. Oh my god, he was thinking about that. Like, never forgive him? What? Mm. Why did you run away? Hmm? Did he kill himself? Did he commit suicide and he blames him for that? He felt neglected and he just... He couldn't take it? That's okay. That's 100% okay. Did that hit you? <laughs> but it's, it's okay if you do. Wait, they're gonna live separately? You're just gonna remove yourself? You think they're better off without you? He's worried, like, what if that's true? I don't know. Yeah, I get it. That's what that dream meant, right? I don't know. I don't know. 
whatever feels best for them, I guess. It doesn't have to be forever, maybe just as an adjustment period. It's probably not best if she comes home to you. I just don't think so. So yeah, alright, I get that. So they blame Endeavor. Nah. They blame Endeavor for Toya's death. Or well Natsu does. I should I shouldn't say they. I'm wondering because Toya put that in his head like you abandoned us, you abandoned us, you you ignored us, you you shunned them, all of that, right? He, he just he just avoided them. He just he didn't I don't know why. He wasn't trying to shun you, he just ignored you. I, I don't know. I guess there's a difference, right? But anyway. So Toya, I don't know if he just couldn't handle that. And like he had a mental break. And maybe he like if he if Dobby is him, maybe he burned himself up in his own flames like he couldn't control them. Because I think that is possible, like if you don't have the ice to regulate it, there is such a thing as overdoing it, right? I mean, look at the scar on his face. Todoroki's. Like, they're not fireproof, clearly. Or heatproof. So, anyway. Um, so, yeah, it's possible. That's what happened. He just erupted in, in a burst of flames that he couldn't control because he was having an emotional or mental break. But, I don't know... I don't know why suicide was the thing that I jumped to because, I mean, that's, I mean, I think it's a reasonable jump because, like, if they blame him, maybe they feel like he just abused him so much that he felt like he couldn't take it anymore, so he chose to take his own life, and so they therefore blame Endeavor for that, but I don't know. I feel like maybe it's more likely that he, he just, he broke, he had an episode and he hurt himself, and maybe they thought he died. Whether that was his intention or not, I don't think it was. But he didn't actually die, maybe? Davi has a thing with Endeavor, and I want to know what it is. It only makes sense for him to be his son. That's just how I feel about it. But anyway. Um, so, what else? Um, the, um, um, the boys. So Midoriya, like, mastered that fucking quirk. Holy shit. I mean, I don't. I shouldn't say mastered it completely, but it kind of seemed like it, though. I mean, I have to see more, but he did really well with it. I'm so proud of him. And then Bakugo, no excuses. You know, he he made it to him in time. He made it to Natsu in time, right? Didn't let him get hit by the train. Todoroki, he worked on being able to emit like his max firepower, like all, oh, like uh. He didn't have to build up to it. He could just do it at once. It's on command like that, right? So, here we go. They did it. And, like, they, they were faster than him. I mean, I guess, kind of. He kind of stopped. But seeing him, like, hug his son and seeing how he's, like, he was conflicted. Like, should I save him or should I not? Because I don't know if he'll ever talk to me again if I do this. I mean... I don't know how I would feel about it. Like, you want to neglect me my whole life, now you want to save me? What? You only want to save me when it's your job to? When I'm being threatened by a villain? Like, you're kind of the villain of my life? I don't mean, I don't, it's just, it's kind of just, it's complicated, dude. It's complicated. I would feel like, ah, that's just rough. Quick thing I want to add on about this, like, whole analysis on not to... Like, when I'm watching it back, things just click for you. Because in the moment, you know, things just come to you later. But, like, I think a big part of looking back on it, this is my better analysis, sorry. But a big part of why Natsu doesn't want to be saved is, like, in that respect, I guess, is because it's, like, it's your job. Are you saving me because you want to? Or is it because it's your job? The job that was everything to you the job that was so important to you that you neglected your own children you neglected the children that didn't fit the mold of this perfect fucking creation that you wanted to surpass you to surpass all my you know all the defects rejects now i'm relevant 
even though you spent your whole life ignoring us. Now we're relevant, I'm relevant, because you're on duty? You know? Just, mm. Yeah, that would rub me the wrong way, too. That would. It really would. And then, you like, I do talk about it later in my, um... I think, in my... I don't know if I did it in the intro or the review, but it's like... And then, you know, Shoto, even though he was treated... He was still abused, but it's kind of like... He's treated like he matters, like he's important. Compared to the rest of them. Like, that's gotta hurt, too. That's gotta sting. Like, I'm not good enough. But he is. Like, I, I know I said the defects, the rejects. But just, like... I relate to that part as well, because I just feel like my dad... He shows that favoritism to certain siblings, and it's kind of like a slap to the face. Like, what did I do to make you hate me so much, to treat me with such disdain? Like, I don't know. Why? And it's just that, I don't know, I just feel them. I just relate to them. It fucking sucks. Anyway, so yeah. Um, that's my better analysis that I'm going to be adding in to the, the review. But yeah, go ahead, listen to the, uh, the rest of it. I don't know how good it is, but... Hopefully, it's entertaining enough. It's just rough. I don't know. I don't know how I would... I don't know how I'd be able to deal with it, honestly. I just don't. Anyway. Um... What else? Um... He thinks it's best that he removes himself from the equation. I think he's right. I think he should. For a little while like let them have time with their mom without her being in the hospital like without you as well because you are not i don't think gonna be i don't think it's gonna be best for her to see you as soon as she gets out i don't i just don't i mean you haven't even visited her in there have you have you i mean you've dropped off flowers but have you had a conversation i don't know so i just think it'd be best if you just wait a little bit let her get used to being outside of the hospital for a little while used to like being in a home with her kids hopefully she's not overwhelmed by that and then 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 when she feels like she can handle that maybe we introduce you like maybe you come over for an hour or something or we meet for a lunch or something i don't know but not just you and her like and the kids as well as a buffer so we got it's baby steps don't push it but I, I, I respect, I like that he's trying to atone in this, he's being selfless in this, like, okay, I'm clearly the problem here, like, if it wasn't for me, you guys could be a happy family, um, Natsu would feel more comfortable just being around his mom, and Shoto wouldn't have to feel like he'd have to choose, like, I'll just remove myself, and I know that has to be, had to be hard, um, feel like you're not needed or unwanted really um by some but i do think it's a good choice i think it's the best choice for now it doesn't need to be permanent though you don't have to stay away forever i mean you are going to be working with them during the day so it's not like you won't see them at all like at least for shoto um and they can always come over and visit you know maybe but maybe it's just not best for you too you and Ray to be, like, together. Like, not romantically together, not that. Like, yeah, that as well, no. But, like, also in physical proximity, just, we should wait that out a little bit, I think. Um, anyway. What else? Um. Oh. neck uh, I don't know I think I kind of I think I covered everything I really hope they get more into Dobby dude or more into Toya I want to know why they blame you for his death how did he die I wonder if we're gonna get that this season because they're spending a lot of time on the family so maybe anyway if this is YouTube, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here, guys. And I Oh, Patreon. The link for the Patreon is in the description below, so check that out. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.